Welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. I am a SaaS trainer and a real programmer. In this video, I am just explaining about SaaS certification topics. The topic number one, I am just trying to introduce SaaS University Edition interface. Why it is so popular now? The latest exam, SAS certification exam mainly, so that is SAS programming specialist exam is based on a performance based test. That means they are just giving a software to you. They'll ask you to write some programs and some short question and answers or something like that. So this university edition, definitely you have to use it in your certification exam so that's the reason why I'm just preparing a couple of videos on the certification questions so explaining about it if you are watching this video for a first time so please subscribe to my channel and so that you will get more videos in upcoming days so let's get started So now I just open so SAS studio so SAS studio also call it as a, a SAS university edition so if you just open the SAS studio so there you can able to see like a code log and result so total three windows you can able to see like a three tabs so code window is the place where generally we write a program so log is the window where we generally see all errors or warning messages if your program is correct then automatically display the result in your result window and apart from that so you can see in a left side a place called libraries so this is the place where you can see all the libraries of SAS click on my libraries so that you can see a different libraries for our practice purpose most of the things we just copy it from SAS help only so there are a lot of data sets available in this SAS help we can use this particular SAS help containing a uh, folder for practice purpose so like uh, let me just go for one of the thing like uh, click on a class data set here if you just click on it so the data uh, data set will have the information like uh, so name age sex age and all the information you can see name age sex height weight and all the variables whatever is required so you can able to get it that information available in this so this is like a data set so once you click on it automatically you can see all the information here and if you could return some program saying it some data a equal to data your data set name anything you can write it uh, I'll just go for it demo and I write it directly a equal to 20 so B equal to 30 semicolon and run so that no you're just creating a data set with the name of demo and you just click on if you want to run this particular program what you have written you have to select it and click on this particular running boy like a symbol once you click on it so the output you can see that a is 20 and B is 30 will be get displayed so here the running boy like a symbol we use it to execute the program to run the program you can click on option called save you just click on save so then it will ask me where you are interested to save it you can create a new folder if you are interested you can create a new folder by just clicking on this new option so that you can create a new folder click save all practices or else maybe you can create a folder like a practice and save it so that new folder will be get saved as a practice you just open it in that you can save your program name what you are interested so that is your first program you are interested to save it so one you want to save it you just save it that's it the program name one dot sas it just got saved that means your first program so you can continue like this and and apart from that here it's a result window once your output is correct then automatically the result will be displayed in your result window so data onwards up to run step what you written is not enough to print your output if you write it proc means procedure print means you are telling a SAS to print it data equal to your data set name so that is your demo data set what you created 
the advantage with this particular SAS university edition when you are typing something automatically it will pop up the things like a in a drop down so that no you can easily select it it will be a bit easy while doing a uh, very first time so i'm just using a run statement that's it i'm just executing the same program one more time you can see the output in the output window so that is your result window with html format earlier also we used to get the data like a data onwards up to run step when i'm executing it i'm getting it but this is just like a, a data set information you can able to see but if you just go to the code window and if you execute proc print so that now output will be displayed in your output window see now you can see that that is your result window just got displayed and apart from that the data just now i created right now with the name of demo so it is automatically get saved into your libraries so there are many libraries we here we can see uh, like let me just go for work library see if you just open the work library right now the demo data set what you created it is just got copied so that means once you execute this piece of line automatically data set will be created it will be get saved into the work library so that's it this is all about just a general introduction to a sas a studio interface so if you have any more questions or anything please write it in a comment section so that i'll reply back to you thanks for watching and please be subscribed to my channel if you want to know more details on this particular sas studio and how you want to use it and how to write the program and all so until that bye and i'll meet you in the next video thank you all